Look at this image. A checkerboard with a shadow cast by a green cylinder. Two squares, A and B. One looks dark, the other light, but they're the same color. Identical, in fact. This is the checker shadow illusion, and it's not just an optical trick, it's a revelation. Your brain doesn't see reality, it guesses. Your mind edits what you see to fit a pattern. It adjusts for shadow, context, contrast. It sacrifices truth for usefulness. Every moment of your life, your brain is lying to you about what you see, what you remember, and even what you believe. Psychologist Donald Hoffman puts it bluntly, Whatever reality is, is not what you see. What you see is, is just an adaptive fiction. This is why optical illusions work. Your brain makes assumptions to fill in gaps. It creates depth, motion, and color based not on what is, but what usually is. In other words, you're seeing a simulation. We like to think of memory as a hard drive, a reliable recording of the past, but it's more like Wikipedia, editable by you and others. In the 1990s, psychologist Elizabeth Loftus demonstrated how easy it is to implant false memories. In one study, participants remembered being lost in a mall as a child, a story that never happened. Memory is reconstructed. Every time you recall something, you change it. The more you recall a memory, the less accurate it becomes. That means some of your most cherished memories might be wrong. Even when you are awake and paying attention, your brain still distorts reality through a dozen unconscious filters called cognitive biases. The illusory truth effect means we believe things just because we've heard them before, even if they're false. Confirmation bias makes us seek out information that supports what we already believe and ignore what doesn't. The Pollyanna principle nudges us to remember positive things more than negative ones. Our brains are not neutral observers. They're optimists, echo chambers, and sometimes liars. So why should you care? Because the stories you tell yourself about your past, your choices, your beliefs, shape your identity. And if your brain is editing those stories without your permission, then your self might be built on illusions. But here's the good news. Once you understand how your brain lies, you can start noticing the patterns. You can fact check your memories, challenge your assumptions, be a little more skeptical of your own certainty. Your brain may be lying to you, but now you're in on the secret. Thank you for watching another episode of The Thinking Path. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe.